United States is still the world leader in space exploration. Do you think that the space race, or like you said, the space game uh, could be, um, you know, this could be just the beginning or a big change that could be coming? And do you agree that India's mission marks a soft power win for a Prime Minister Narendra Modi? You know, when I was born, Rena, no one had flown in space. All of this, the space commerce, you know, GPS satellites, weather satellites, telecommunications, uh, exploring the moon, exploring the sun, all of that has happened in less than one lifetime. So it's not so much a space race as it is a new space opportunity for everybody. And now the race is really uh, who can push the technology in an economic way to turn it into profitable space businesses for each of the companies and each of the countries involved. And India is in a really strong leveraged position to do that. And I think Prime Minister Modi has seen that for several years. You know, he is very much directly involved with the Indian Space and Research Organization, with ISRO. You know, he he he's not just watching them do what they're do doing. He's He's very closely uh, monitoring, but also involved in their conversations because it is national policy. It, it is pushing the wedge of technology forward so that all of those other businesses can be in behind that wedge, uh, taking advantage of, of all of the commerce that comes from satellites around the earth, but also the earth moon economic system that is just starting to get going down in history and then everything that lies beyond that. So yeah, it's it's a uh, it's a really smart move, I think, on India's leadership's part right now to be pushing it, to be developing it, but also being in the process of privatizing it so that the the businesses and therefore the Indian people can benefit as much as possible. Uh, what is your assessment about uh, Chandrayaan three? Uh, the fa uh, the findings so far look fantastic. Uh, with missions like Chandrayaan three, what is the sig significance of uh, the missions to the moon, and why is it so crucial for space exploration? Well, Chandrayaan three really was like a, a a test flight, right? It's the very first time you've ever done anything, and when you succeed at, at the fundamental purpose of a soft landing on the moon, it's almost like everything else that happens is is sort of like an added bonus. Um, but in this case, the bonus is pretty significant. They have several sensors on board. They're they're like detectors that look at, at at colors and the spectrum of reflected energy, and from that you can figure out. What, what the moon is made of, at least near the South Pole. What's common in the dirt? And, and is there water? Is there oxygen? Are there minerals that can be mined? And Chandrayaan 3 is not going to answer all those questions definitively, but it's adding one more really important piece of information to everything we know so far. But it's the future of this that matters. India has shown its capability to land near the South Pole of the moon. That puts it at the forefront of, of all the space nations on Earth. The moon is bigger than Africa, if you lay it out uh, on the surface of the world. It's a continent that is completely untapped, unmined, largely even uh, un, unsurveyed, um, bigger than Africa, that now suddenly we as a species have access to, and that India has direct access to. And we know from our remote sensors, there's on the order of 400 billion liters of water in the shadowed craters at the South Pole. So that step forward to untapped geological resources, uh, water, another place for human beings and robots to live and function, uh, we're just on the cusp of that right now. And, and to me, it's very difficult to predict exactly what, what all the benefits and and you know, uh, economic outcomes are going to be, but the potential is huge. It's like the time where we first started discovering the Americas or first started having access to Antarctica. It's one of those important irreversible thresholds in human exploration. And, and it's great to see so many players involved with all of the, of the possible benefits that are coming. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.